Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. It's kind of a smoky eye with a little bit of glitter and some berry colored lips. I didn't really know what kind of look I was going for when I started this, but I knew that I wanted to use my Lorac Pro palette that I haven't used in a while. That's what it looks like. So um, I just decided to use that and this is what I came up with. So if you like this look and want to see how I got it, please keep watching. So as you can see, I have already done one eye and now starting on the other, I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm starting with the shade Mauve and a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that into my crease as a transition shade. And then I'm going straight into the dark colors. This is the shade Deep Purple and as you can see, it doesn't really apply all that purple. It's not like a vibrant purple, but it's just a dark color that's not black so it kind of gives a little bit of a different look to the smoky eye so I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner of my eye and lightly blend it into the crease Then taking a very tapered blending brush like this one, I'm going to go back into that deep purple and I'm just going to draw this into the crease a little more concentrated just so the dark color doesn't get too high up. So just back and forth in windshield wiper motion all across the crease area. And then go back in with that last brush and kind of pack on a little more color, blend it a little bit more. And then I will go in with the first big fluffy brush and blend a little bit more. You guys know the drill with smoky eyes. It's all about packing and blending, packing and blending until you're happy with the way it looks. And then here I took that first blending brush and a little bit more of that mauve shade just to blend slightly above the darker colors just to give it a little bit more of a gradient effect. And then on a dome brush, I'm taking the tiniest bit of black from the palette and putting it on the very outer corner of my eye just to add a little bit more dimension. And then of course I will go back in and blend it out. Moving on to the lid color, I'm taking the shade Champagne on a flat shader brush and I did wet this with some Fix Plus and I'm just going to pat this onto my lid. It's more important that you pat than rub because if you rub, you will get fallout. This is a very glittery shadow. Um, that's why it also helps to use the Fix Plus. Um, so just gently pat that on the rest of the lid. And then go back in and gently blend the two together so that there are no harsh lines. Then to highlight my brow bone, I am taking the white shade from the palette and a flat shader brush. And then I'm moving on to liner and lashes. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and the Salon Perfect 615s. And then I'm on to concealer, and I'm using the Maybelline Master Conceal and also a little bit of the NYX HD in the yellow shade just to add a little bit of extra brightening. So I'm just going to apply that in all of the usual places underneath my eyes. I'm going to clean up the wing a little bit with a flat concealer brush, the center of my face, and then I'm only putting the yellow underneath my eyes. And then as usual, I'm blending everything in with a damp beauty blender. Set my concealer, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm mixing the yellow and the peach shade. Moving back to the eyes, I'm taking a much smaller blending brush and the mauve shade and I'm just going to blend that along my entire lash line and then I'm taking a flat definer brush and the deep purple and I'm just pressing this against the base of my lashes and then I will take a little bit of the black and just put it on the very outer edge just like I did on my lid and then I will go back in and blend it all out. Mm -hmm. 
Then taking this double-ended 24-7 Glide On pencil from Urban Decay, I am first taking the purple side in the shade Tornado, and I am lining my lower waterline, and then I will flip it around and use the other side, which is Black Market, and line my top waterline. Then I am applying some mascara to my lower lashes, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I just recently got this, and it's the only one I have been reaching for lately. We are moving on to glitter, and this is the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Crystal Silver. And I am first just making a very thin line right under the tail of my wing. And then I'm going to bring it kind of on my inner corner and beginning part of my lower lash line. And then I'm taking a little pencil brush and a little bit more of the white shade from the palette and just highlighting my inner corner, being careful not to disturb the glitter. And then I've already done my foundation, but I haven't set it yet, so I am just setting it with the air spun powder. Moving on to bronzer, this is the NYX Matte Bronzer. I believe it's the medium one, and I'm just going to bronze up my face in all the usual places, just the outer edge along my hairline, and my cheeks, my jawline, and down my neck. And dipping back into the Kat Von D contour palette, I am taking the two lighter shades on this contour brush and I am just applying that to the hollows of my cheeks and a little bit on the sides of my nose. Then I am taking these two shades from the Morphe 9B blush palette and I am applying that with the Morphe E4 brush. It's from their Elite collection, which I believe they just discontinued, but they are coming out with an Elite 2 collection, I think it's called. So I think it's going to be the same brushes but better, so I don't think they have this exact brush, but they should have one similar. Then taking this highlight shade from the Carly Bible palette, and this is a Morphe 501, I believe. I'm just going to apply that to all of the high points of my face like I usually do, tops of my cheekbones, above the arch of my brow, bridge of my nose, and Cupid's bow. Moving on to lips, I'm first lining with this pencil from Ofra in the shade Maya. For lipstick, I'm using the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable in the shade Crush. And then I'm going over that with this Hikari Gloss, and this is in the shade Merlot. 
And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am hoping to get back on a more regular schedule here soon when things are not so hectic. So please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.